All right, guys, welcome to the how to pass the aptitude answers exams for union apprenticeships. So this is going to be an, an overview of what you're going to need. I'm not going to go into detail on in practice questions or exams. That'll be for future videos. Um, what I am going to do, though, is just show you information that you can find online for free or you can buy uh, through Amazon, maybe Barnes and Nobles, whatever uh, place you want and get yourself some books and study for the for the entrance exams. So well, you know, what what unions use aptitude exams for uh, what unions oh, all right what unions use apt, aptitude exams for entrance into the apprenticeships. Okay, so obviously it'll be the IBW, it'll be the UA. Um, and IBW is pretty much electricians. You could short bring it down to that. The UA is plumbers and, and pipe fitters. Bring it down to that, obviously. Uh, sheet metal, those also um, have an aptitude entrance exam. That that's not that one won't be as hard as the IBW, but you will need to know basic uh, math, algebra, and that sort of thing. Um, HVAC, obviously, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of um, a lot of math and a lot of mechanical parts. So you're gonna have to know what you're doing. Um, sprinkler fitters, uh, the the I O the I U O E. If you don't know what that is, that's pretty much the engineers. If you don't know what that is either. That that's the people driving trailers of tractors. Um, they're maneuvering big cat machines. They're bringing in cranes to job sites. That sort of thing. You got the I um, U E C. That'd be your elevators constructors. So that's the union for elevator um, elevator workers. So they build them in. Um, it could be in a home. It could be in a commercial office. It could be in a skyscraper, a building. That sort of thing. It'd be. It could even be. Um, an elevator for let's say an, an industrial plant right where they have a bunch of materials going up and down it will be different things and obviously a lot of people don't know this but government positions in federal state uh, county and city levels so an example of that would be if you're in the military um, you can kind of think of that as a i, I don't want to say well I don't want to say union for that, but uh, we'll speak about the, about that. And the military is going to have you do an ASVAB exam. Pretty much all that's going to do is cover basic um, information that you must have had in high school for you to pass high school. That's that, okay? The other ones that that you'll need to do an aptitude test for, uh, that will pretty much be a police officer, firefighters, immigration, um, TSA, etc. So any any agency... In the United States, they 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 either have one based on the job itself, or you need to have to take or you need to take an aptitude exam to even be considered into the recruitment process. Okay, what do you study and what to study for the exam? Okay, so first things first, I think this is the one that most people have the problem with. That'd be your basic math. Okay, so basic math starts from eighth grade math to algebra one. Some positions require higher math levels like geometry calculus and statistics um you know it could also be algebra 2 etc there's there's some that are, that'll need trigonometry that sort of thing um you need to learn arithmetic reasoning so you know using words to make a math question using formulas and being able to manipulate the wording to get the answer okay this is uh, one of the most difficult areas for most people when they're taking the asvab or the or the union exams reading comprehension so Pretty much uh, being able to read at a certain speed, understanding what the main point is, taking information from the text and, and using that information to answer questions. That um, reading comprehension is not hard. It is it is just sometimes uh, difficult to understand what's being said, or maybe you know maybe you're a little bit of a, of a slow uh, reader, or maybe you go too fast and you know you mess up. That's kind of what I do. So I'll read something. And, you know, I'll skip over two letters, but that's not because I don't understand what it's being said. It's just my brain just functions a little bit faster and I can't get it out. Maybe, you know, you have some uh, problems with reading comprehension, that sort of thing. Um, mechanical reasoning. So designed to improve your ability to understand the basic mechanical principle of machinery, tools, movement based on reasoning rather than specialized knowledge. If you don't know what that is, mechanical reasoning is pretty much just... Um, making sure that you know how to use uh you know pulleys um how to make something how to use machines to make something uh, less heavier right um 
you know, may, maybe you're building some, maybe you're building a, a little, I don't know, a project or something, and you want to make it so that, you know, whatever you're using can withstand the load that'll, that'll be carried on top of whatever that project that is, like a roof, um, that sort of thing, right? You need to understand how pretty much mechanical um, products work or, you know, how to make your life easier. So there are more things that can be studied depending on the union or the military entrance exams. Uh, examples would be word knowledge, science, auto shop, and electronics, and assembling projects. Re the reason I'm not going into those is typically for a union, they're not going to ask you to know, well, word knowledge, they're, they're probably going to do that. They might ask you, what does this word mean? And also assembling objects. But they're not going to ask you in detail about science. They're also not going to go into detail about auto and shop or electronics. One, because you're applying for an entry level job. They don't want you to know everything, right? So the main points you need to study for any aptitude exam or ASVAB is your basic math, your arith arithmetic reasoning, uh, reading comprehension, and mechanical reasoning. If you are trying to join the, um, the military, I would recommend you do study the rest of the of the, the points that I mentioned on the bottom. And we'll talk about well, where else you can get that information from either way. So, all right, so let's get to um, the, the books, the websites, the videos that I that ha have helped me and I think will help you. All right, guys, so the first thing I wanna show you is ASVAB books, okay? This is the same thing as the, the exam you'll find in any union, so, I recommend the ASVAB for dummies. You can get any year, honestly. They're all the same thing. They might just have new tests or something like that. And one thing I recommend is, I'll give you an example. All right, so I like that one, the dummies. I also like um, Kaplan. And uh, let's see which one else, if I could find it. Uh... There was a McGraw or something like that. I can't find it right here. But my point is, you can search all these right here and just find one that you like. They're, they're all they're all the same. You know, some just look for some that offer extra help. So if you look right here, it says it it has seven practices online. It has a digital flashcard, study plans, and videos. So what you do is you go online, and they'll give you a code, and you can get pretty much a, a bunch of practice tests. And the whole point of all this right here is for you to get comfortable doing a bunch of tests, okay? The next step is, this one's gonna be a, a bit more difficult for most people if you've never worked with construction equipment, if you've never done any sort of problem solving. So mechanical aptitude uh, study guides, right? I like this one, Barron's Mechanical Aptitude and Spatial Re uh, Relation Tests. That one has helped me understand uh, mechanical reasoning more, more so. Um, I think the average person is going to stand, understand basic questions when it comes to mechanical reasoning. So, however, when it comes to like pulleys, um, you know, um, learning how to calculate certain um, uh, certain uh, weights, right? Like how to make something easier to carry, right? You know, what's the power? Uh, what do they call it? Oh, I'm sorry about that. What, what, it, it, it's like how to make something weigh less right? Like by using less effort, right? You know, how to do all that sort of thing, right? So you, again, this will teach you how to work with uh, uh, general uh, mechanical understanding, gears, pulleys, tools, how to read a map, how to read uh, the line following, uh, matching shapes, visual comparisons, uh, zigzag, jigsaw puzzles, that sort of thing. And I know a lot of this seem might, might, uh, might seem like um, trivial, but believe it or not, a lot of people just don't know a lot of this information. So if you don't study it, most people won't understand the questions either way. Okay, so remember, I chose this one, okay? Barron's Mechanical Aptitude, that's a good one. If you can find one that's better, I guess find that one and use that one. All right, for math. This is gonna cover math and a bunch of other stuff, but Khan Academy, we're gonna use this one mainly for math, okay? So you could go ahead, and oh, there might even be some reading, I guess, if you want to do that. Um, it, I would recommend the best thing for you to read is just newspapers, just digital articles online just to get better at math. But for this, what you're going to want to go is start at eighth grade math. And from there, get into, uh, get ready for algebra one. 
and then do algebra one and geometry. Uh, so all that's going to help you is basically understand math. And again, this thing is free. Um, give yourself about three months of studying and you'll get a lot better. Okay. This remember Khan Academy is mainly for math. Okay. The, the IBW, the union for, ele for electricians, they offer a program called um, pretty much uh, tech math, right? This is an online study guide. They give you a certificate if you pass it. And all this is going to do is it's a quick revamp of every, every math practice uh, type of question that you're going to get. Okay. Uh, however, they do use a lot of technical terms for, ele for electrical. So this is mainly more for more so for electricians. If you if you want to use that lingo, this, however, will work for any other trade as well. OK, so obviously this is going to deal with whole numbers, integers, fractions, decimals, exponents, etc. OK, I also did this uh, course. OK, I got a certificate in that. Um, don't worry about this. This is more so for people already in the union and the reading comprehension. If you want to buy that, I guess, as well. I never did. But, you know, if you want to. For you to use this program or for you to buy this program, it is three hundred dollars. I I did it when it was just like a hundred and twenty, I think it was cheaper, right? Um go ahead and register for an account and buy the program. If you pass, you'll get a certificate that proves that you did it. Um the next step or the next thing that I have used in the past is electric prep. So electric prep is um is an online studying program. You could do the aptitude, math aptitude, and you could do the reading comprehension. It's cheaper than the, I guess, this course. However, all this, all this right here is the same thing you're going to learn from CAD Academy, which is free. The only thing you have to do is just get an account on here, just sign up for it. Um, personally, this one's good, but it's not. I mean, pretty much you could just go over it and over it. You could fail, you could fail questions and they'll just give you a certificate. I do like it, but not something that I would go. I'd prefer Khan Academy or the skills prep. You could also do this as well. I prep. A lot of people have had good, um, good experiences with this one. I've never done this one. Maybe, maybe if you do like it, you know, go ahead and try it out. Uh, and you have an overview. Trade Union Aptitude Practice Test, right? So this will give you an overview, pretty much of a uh, same thing we were talking about. We were talking about reading comprehension, mathematics, and mechanical reasoning. This is also a good option. The free Bennett, right? The Bennett is the one we were talking about, mechanical reasoning. This one's thirty dollars using iPrep as well. And if you want to pretty much do or study a bunch of videos online for free these i'm not associated with these people or anything like that or these youtube accounts however i these guys do offer very good um videos on practice exams and how to pass certain questions and how to do them correctly they even go through the whole question on with you so you can pass it i like grammar hero that guy's a good guy oh not that one that's me all right colfax math colfax math is also good so, you know, with, with all this information up here, you're going to pass aptitude test. It's just going to take some time, okay? Don't try to skip anything because, honestly, if you do, the only thing you're hurting is yourself. So if you're interested, if you want to join the IBW, the plumbers union, uh, steam fitters, whatever, boiler makers, even if you're a carpenter, if you want to be join the carpenters union, right, all this information is going to help you in the long run. So go ahead. Um, I'd say sign up to whatever thing you want on here, whether it's free or paid. And um, just study for your test. Catch you guys later.